happy Friday. So I missed last Friday's upload. I ended up getting food poisoning on Wednesday and Thursday was not fun. And Friday I was still feeling sick. I actually was still feeling sick and throwing up through Saturday. Um, and didn't start getting a little bit better until Sunday. And it wasn't until about Tuesday that I, um, my headache was gone and I had more energy. So it was a really long bout of food poisoning. Um, and I, I thought a lot about um, food and waterborne illnesses. My mind was just stuck on that like as I was throwing up. So it was kind of gross. Um, and I, I like woke up on Sunday and looked around my place like, what happened here? Oh, it was a war zone while I was out. <laughs> okay, it was my fault. Um, but yeah, so that's what happened last Friday. So this Friday, I wanted to go over um, a little bit about what I've been doing this week. Um, besides taking it easy, skipping the gym. Um, my excuse being that I am still not feeling well. <laughs> so uh, today, I actually went to the gym for the first time. Um, and I had a lot less meetings this week, so normally my calendar is just like, duh, meetings, 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 meetings. Um, but today I didn't have any meetings. Yesterday I didn't have any meetings, so I got a ton done. And I've been working on a bunch of different reports, trying to finalize some projects, um, reaching out to the clients, make sure all the past invoices are paid so that we can get them out of the system before we officially change over to Jacobs. Um, billing system uh, so I did a lot of that sort of work um, a lot of just like checking the boxes and making sure everything was good for the week um, I finished up one report that was a long long time in coming it was a production well for a city around here um, the report was such a slog to get through that I'd been putting it off and putting it off but finally no meetings knocked it out um, I reviewed another report which I had written uh, probably about a year ago and it was in draft form and RPM had left the company, the PM for that city had left or had been promoted to a different position and so finally we all got um, our little ducks in a row and the new PM had a meeting with them, had some changes, she revised them. Um, I reviewed it and I got to put my stamp on it so that's fun especially because it's groundwater and it's ASR related um, and ASR is aquifer storage and recovery so it's taking water drinking water and then storing it underground in a reservoir um, and then pulling it up when you need it so you can use it seasonally um, to meet drought supply um, seasonal, se seasonally or to meet drought supply or both if you have drought a drought seasonally like we do here in Texas. Um, you can use it daily to meet peaking. Uh, this one it's a little bit deeper of an aquifer so they wouldn't be using it daily and what's happening is they have a lot of surface water that you know during the wet time of the year they'll have extra surface water rights so they're not using and so all that water is just continuing to flow down the river down to and they don't get to use it um, uh, just because they don't have a treatment plant that has capacity for it, they don't have demand for it, so they just let it go. Um, but then when we're in a drought and there's no, there's less water in the river and they need more water because there's, you know, people are watering their lawns more and we have more irrigation going on for crops, um, we still have the continuous use of industrial facilities that need water and all the other uses for water within the city and they have less water in the river because it is a drought. Um, that's when we would supplement the supply with what's in our ASR system. So it's really a cool technology. It's not new, it's, or what we would call emerging technologies. It's, an, uh, it's been around for decades. Uh, it's just not, it's very highly specialized and it's dependent on your geology. Um, and so it's one of my niche technology areas that I would like to do more work in um, is ASR. And so it was really cool reviewing my report and seeing like the sensitivity analysis that I did a year ago. And um, between that one and then the other groundwater report for the production well, 
I was doing some little math calculations. Um, and I was very excited because I don't get to do math very often. <laughs> you go from university where there's always doing problems and always um, solving things and having my calculator out and um, you know then you get to see the answer at the end and you have that like sense of satisfaction that you got the right answer um, and then uh, you get to industry and working and you don't have that anymore it's uh, occasionally somebody will be like yeah let's do some calculations um, and maybe it's because they've been project managing a little bit more lately and doing less of the technology side um, and also because we use computer models um, to m run a lot of the calculations and then we'll do our kind of like, keep it simple check on the back end to, you know does it make sense does it pass the sniff test does it um, is this the answer we expected um, and we'll do s some small like back of the napkin calculations but the model and the computer is doing all the heavy lifting for us um, so I was really excited about doing that math <laughs> I don't know that the other engineers get that excited. <laughs> um, so there was that. Um, I had a lunch with somebody in my office. To, I, she, she used to be my direct supervisor. Now she does more of a sales role. And so I had, um, I was asking people for feedback and she was one of the people I emailed. And we went to lunch and she gave me some advice. We mostly just talked office talk. Um, and then I didn't quite have time to make it home for my next meeting, but I don't have a speaking role in that meeting and I mostly just need to be able to see what they're presenting on the screen. So I stopped off at, at Better Half Coffee, which is a new coffee place everybody's talking about and Instagramming about. And I logged into the WebEx app on my phone and we just like looked at at the the meeting and I, I like sent some emails on the side I was like multitasking on my phone while I was like listening to this meeting um, and it was the first time I was really out and about in Austin since I had gotten sick uh, and I realized that as much as I can be an introvert at times I definitely need to be around people sometimes and I, I hadn't even realized that my headspace had gone to this uh, like kind of depressed um, more hopeless than normal sort of mood um, and when I was out and just people watching and seeing all the like friends getting together and drinking wine I was like it's, it's 1 30 on a Tuesday guys so you're drinking wine <laughs> what do you do I want your job <laughs> um, or like just couples that you know they look like they're just visiting the city and they were out and having a coffee at the coffee shop and I don't know it definitely lifted my mood and made me realize that um, being by myself in my like 700 square foot apartment for five days is probably not healthy <laughs> even though Lauren did come over and bring me some soup and I had lots of people snapchatting me and texting me and um, giving me wishes to to get better but um, yeah that it, it was very interesting because it was the first time in a while that I'd been sick and I first time the last couple times I was sick I was coupled and so this time I had to be sick and also make sure my cat didn't starve um, and take care of myself and I had rented a, a rental for work and I never made it out to site because I was throwing up so much and I had stayed up all night Wednesday night and was just, I had just texted him like I can't get to site you do not want me behind the wheel of a car right now um, and then I, I couldn't even call to have the rental company come and pick it up because I couldn't leave my place to give them the keys because I just didn't have the energy or could leave the bathroom to like go and give them my keys um, which is the benefit of being coupled and um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with that car rental now that I have to bill it to something. I'll, I'll non-bill it. It won't go to the client, but I'll have to talk to somebody because um, it would have been nice if there was someone here to give them the keys and, and not have that, that extra charge. But, um, yeah, if they hired me, they didn't hire me and a couple. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it was nice to get out and see some people. And, and now it's raining, and I love the rain, and I get to enjoy it. 
healthy this time. Um, so I'm looking forward to this weekend. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what my week's been about. Groundwater stuff, ASR, um, getting better, back to 100. Oh, and I posted a blog post um, about Angkorian water engineering. So I've got the blog post out on my website. Uh, Angkorian is um, is an ancient civilization from Cambodia. Um, so, like when you, I don't know if you guys hear about like the Khmer. Uh, it's the ancient civilization from that area, and they were a great hydraulic city. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have another YouTube video coming out about the post, and also go check out the post. So give me some love, like, subscribe. Hit the little uh, alerts so that you get emails when I post stuff. And I uh, will see you next Friday. Bye.